Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last here in New Hampshire, in Manchester. Delighted to be joined by McWilliams Arroyo, who fights for the WBC flyweight world title on Friday night. McWilliams, thank you very much for joining me. How are we? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. I just want to talk about the weather quickly, right? Because I find it funny how you could literally beat me up in two seconds, but you can't stand out there for more than two minutes and I can stand out there for as long as I want. I find that really <laughs> funny. No, you know, I'm, I'm accustomed to my weather in Puerto Rico. You, you know, the lowest is 88, you know, 90, 100 degrees. So, you know, it's like refreshing for like two or three minutes and then I got to go back in the hotel. I can't, you know, I can't hold it. I've been to Puerto Rico. It is an absolutely lovely place. Um, I was only there for a couple of days, but talk to me about life in Puerto Rico because I feel like it's a place that everyone knows, but not many people have really, really been to. Yeah, you know, it's a beautiful, all the beaches and the nice weather. You know, it, it's very nice. I, I recommend everybody go there on vacation. But now, since you mentioned that, I've never been to London. I'm crazy to go to London. It's, it's going to be cold, right? So I'm going to go well prepared. You're going to have to go well prepared because it is literally the same as, as New York. This is literally London weather. So um, you, you talk about that, and we'll talk about your fight and everything in a minute, but you talk about wanting to go to London. Um, boxing's become, it's sort of blown up in the UK. Have you got aspirations perhaps to maybe one day fight? in the UK because I think I think you'd love like the O2 Arena and these big London fight nights. Oh no, most definitely it, it'll be great. I've, I've seen on TV that you guys, you know, uh, have a lot of fights over there. So it would be a good experience actually to, to go down there and also even fight there. And if I don't fight there, I would love to go see a fight over there or, you know, and see how the, the life is over there. Yeah, well, we've got very passionate fans and we've got a flyweight as well who we'll, we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, let's talk about Friday night. Does it feel like for you this fight is kind of a relief that f at this point surely nothing can go wrong I know it did last time finally we're going to see you and Julio says Martinez in the ring and finally you can get this fight on yeah to be honest um you know things happen in, in boxing it's two times it got cancelled uh hopefully this is the the one that you know we see but I won't believe it until the bell rings because all the things that's been happening I don't know if it's something that's chasing us that didn't want us to see in the see us together in the ring but now it's going to finally happen and and hopefully the fans are going to enjoy the fight. Yeah, well, I mean, it was a cracking fight. And I remember last time out when you were meant to fight in, um, what was that, back in March? Back in March time. Um, everyone was saying it could Actually, potentially we gonna, steal the show. So no, We were going to fight in August 15, 2020, but he got sick. And then we were going to fight in February uh, this year. On the Canelo Yield Dream Cup. Yeah, I mean, that was, that was like a show stealer. I felt like that was the show stealer. No, actually, yeah. And um, we did the face-off and everything. And after the press conference... You know, I was told he was a, he hurt his hand. But, you know, this is boxing, this, things happen, you know. But, uh, you know, that's in the past, and um, may the fans see a great fight Friday night. I, I know it's in the past, but I do just want to quickly go back to that, because I remember that you said you had your doubts as to what had happened, and I think it was a picture that you put up, and you weren't sure about the carpet, is what I remember you saying. You thought the carpet yeah, was, and you thought it was like an old picture, and there was a lot in the air. Like, how do you sort of feel about that situation yeah. now? I was thinking, why does the floor look like cement and my room has a carpet, you know? It was the hotel floor. Yeah, yeah. and I was like, so he, he was training somewhere else? Or, you know, it was, it was weird. You know, I, I got respect for everybody, but, you know, I, I, I like always uh, the truth to, to prevail. But um, I was told he was hurt for real, so, you know, we just waited. Did you feel like there's more needle, there's a bit more uh, passion and a bit more of a, I'm trying to think of the word to describe it. Uh, not anger, but there's a bit more uh, of a clash between you two now. Is, is, it, is it personal now? Well, not for me. I know for him, you know, he's been blabbing his mouth saying that I'm talking bull. You know, I don't want to talk, disrespect anybody. That I'm saying, talking trash, you know. I'm not a fighter of talking trash. I just go in there, do my job, and, and try to get my work done, you know. This is what I live for, and, and I love boxing, and I fight for the fans. There were sort of, um, not question marks, there were certain things that had come out about um, Julio and potentially being tested and tested and coming up with certain substances in his system. I just want to know going into a fight how that sort of, not affects you mentally, but sort of the things you think around that and how, I don't know, how I suppose how that is for you mentally. Well, actually, I never, um, I never got there. I wasn't thinking about that. I was always thinking it was a problem, maybe of a weight problem or something. You know, but it is what it is. You know, hopefully he's, He's 100% recovered from everything now, and, and we're going to fight, you know. They're going to do the test. Uh, obviously, WC does always the test. So, you know, I don't even think about that, you know. I just go in there and try to do my best. 
And in terms of the fight and how it could play out, like I said, I, I thought it was going to be a show stealer on the show uh, in February. How can we expect you two to gel and your, and your sort of styles to work in the ring? Well, let's see, you know, because he likes to brawl, I like to brawl, but um, I don't know if I, I, if I have to brawl, I'll brawl, but if I can box, I can box, you know. It all depends how he comes, you know. If he, if I see he's slagging, or, you know, and I have any advantages over him and I have to change my game plan, I will, because I know how to do both things. And in terms of uh, Julio's career up to now, um, I remember when he came over to the UK and he, and he fought Charlie Edwards. Um, obviously, it was a no contest in the end, but just sort of from your perspective, um, there's been a lot of hype around him. Sort of, how do you take Julio and how do you rate him as a fighter? No, he's a great uh, fighter. I even saw that fight with Charlie Edwards. Uh, I, I think he got him with a nice body shot, and um, but then he hit him on the floor, so it was his mistake, you know. Um, I believe that uh, it was a, he he demonstrated a lot of heart. But after that, he hasn't like, I don't know, he's been slagging. But maybe this momentum of the cancellation of the fight got him pumped up again. And hopefully he's 100% ready for the fight. And, and come Friday night, you know, may the best man win. You, you're coming off some good momentum. You've got, I think, four wins in a row now. You won the interim title last time out. Um, and you look very good doing it. You've been out of the ring for about 15, 16 months. And then you come back with a knockout win. You must be feeling in the perfect place for this fight. Yeah, I feel good. You know, we've been working for him since August from 2020. Um, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully, I feel good and, and take the title back home. Yeah. Just in terms of the division, obviously, it's, it's quite hot. There's a lot of good names in the division. We've got Sonny Edwards over in the UK. Obviously, we would look like, well, I said about you fighting in the UK. We'd love for you to come over and fight Sonny. There's so many good fights. Um, how do you sort of rate the guys in the division? And what do you make of sort of the, the flyweight bunch? I always say, you know, flyweight, uh, uh, have a, uh, we have... Small weights, but with big hearts. You know, we got we, when we fight, we had, we everyone start start talking about us, and, and that's good for us. But you know, uh, they just gotta bring it out there more. You know, I'll fight anybody. You look at my record. I mean, I never ducked anybody. I've got I've fought in all the best out there, and yeah, I would love to fight anybody. But you know, my my main goal is Julio Cesar, uh, Friday, and, and if I win, uh, then we can talk about my future. You talk about how people are becoming interested in sort of the smaller weights and you say smaller weights but, but bigger hearts. It's really interesting because everyone's really obsessed with the heavyweights and there'll always be sort of big names and big fights. But I feel like the flyweights and the smaller weights are getting a lot more love now. Can you feel that from the boxing community? Yeah, actually, yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. It's, it's something that we need to do it worldwide and, and for everybody to get paid better also. All right, McWilliams, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV. Best of luck on, on Friday night and um, looking forward to seeing you in the ring. Yeah, thank you very much.